does the social and political climate today remind you of the beginning of what happened before the Holocaust? Very much so. I have been asked in schools by uh, students that question. And of course, I'm not a politician, so I don't uh, uh, start a program about it. But yes, it reminds me very much so. It reminds me of the time when Germany was in great uh, dire need of having a good uh, president or, or chancellor because they, they lost the war, the First World War, they lost it and they were very bitter about it, very upset and bitter and their financial situation was horrible which kind of reminds me of our times now, not knowing what our financial situation is going to be through our new president. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a man who has never been president, who has never, uh, who was not known as a politician, and for someone to take a presidency of the United States, we would expect him to be some great sp uh, statesman. So that reminds me a lot how the German people were in dire need of, of a good uh, leader. Mm -hmm. Now Hitler was a, a brilliant speaker and he was able with his lies and, and promises to take the people around himself, those that were on his side, and uh, they made new laws, of course, once he was elected president. They changed the laws, and they had their, uh, their plan all made out, what they're going to do, and their motto began right away, Deutschland überall. That means Deutschland, Germany all over. So the plan was to take all of Europe, they started to, they started out with the genocide, they started out with the hatred and uh, the propaganda. The terribly strong propaganda was well accepted by the country, by Germany, because they were in, in such bad situation. Germany has always been one of those, one of the richer countries of Europe. So the plan was to take Poland, Czechoslovakia, uh, uh, Austria, and so on, till they come to our, my country, which was Romania, Transylvania, which was part of Hungary before the First World War. So we were actually Romanians for 22 years, from 1918, from the, uh, the end of the First World War, until 1940 when finally the Nazis marched in. So all that time that was happening during my youth, and, and which, which brought chaos to my life and my family's life, is very similar. Therefore right now, as we, not, we don't know very much I would not know much anyway, I'm just a simple housewife, just telling my story to the future generation so that genocide and the hatred, all this should not happen again to yeah. any nation. So all I can say is, yes, I'm afraid when I hear something like, to register, gosh, no. Mm -hmm don't register, because that registry brought the Holocaust on us, the Jews, and those who were not Jews, they fell into the same situation. So this is very similar and it's very scary. For those of us who have seen and gone through all this, it's very scary. So now all we have left is hope cooperation which we have to understand and try to do the best for our, 
for our country because this is still the best in the world.